Hey Jackals fans, Bill the Bat Boy here with Jackals pitcher Lenny Castillo for your Jackals player profile. The 2007 signed with the Philadelphia Phillies as an international free agent, being the 21 year old signing with the Major League Organization. How exciting was that? Oh, that was great. Actually, when I, back in 2007, when I signed with the Phillies, I was 17 wow. years old. So I, I used to be short stuff. Right, right. Yeah, I played three years through the minor league system with them and then come the Phillies compared to me. Pitching uh, back in 2010. You talk about that transition from the shortstop and then to the ball. Well, it's a little bit tough because, I mean, when you're in field there, your arm is not built up, uh, you know, to throw that many pitches and, you know, to throw breaking balls and stuff like that. But it went well. I, I picked it up, like, real fast. Uh, 2011, the Chicago Cubs selected you in the Rule 5 draft, and then you made the opening day roster for them. Uh, can you talk about heading over to the Cubs organization and your story of making up to the big leagues? Well, that was an amazing uh, feeling. I'll say when I made it to the bigs, I mean, I went to do the training. I remember my agent that I had back then told me that it was really tough for like profile big, especially me, that I was coming from low A, uh, from Lakewood Blue Plus, which is a uh, low A for the Phillies. And well, I worked hard every day, and I mean, thanks God, I, I, I made the team. Now, do you remember your first big league strikeout? Uh, yes, it was in my second appearance, I think it was, okay. against Jonathan Lucroy. Oh, wow. He actually made the All-Star a couple of years later. Right. That, that was a great feeling. Wow. Now, while playing the big leagues, who were some of the toughest hitters you faced? Uh, well, I I would say Mike Kemp. Back then, he was like, in 2012, when I was in major, right. he was on fire, yeah. and I faced him, and I got to pop up to right field. So that, that, was, that was great. Right. Last season you signed here in Jersey. How did you first hear about the Jackets? I hear because of a friend, Fernando Cruz, which is, uh, well, I would say Asian friend, because yeah. he got me a job to Puerto Rico too in the oh, ball okay. last year. Uh, and he told me about it, and then he got me in touch with uh, Bruce Carey, yeah. the manager, and so everything went well. Wow. Now you went over to Mexico to play. What are some of the differences you've noticed from playing in Mexico to here in the States? In Mexico, I would say that it's more veteran guys playing over there, but it's about the same baseball. But you know, um, they have a lot of ballparks that they both flies, and it's a little bit tougher to pitch in, in Mexico. Yeah, and uh, what are some of your goals for the rest of the season? Well, I mean, keep working hard and you know help the team the best I can to make the playoff and to win the championship. Right. Now you're a veteran pitcher on this team. What has it been like for you to help the younger guys and teach them? Well, uh, I love I love to, to play baseball and I love to teach the younger guys. And uh, it's a great feeling like when you tell the young guys something and they actually do it and you see their success. Right. Last question. Uh, overall, what's your experience been like here in Jersey? Uh, it's great. It's great. I love. I love the the team. Right now we have a, like a great, great team. Everyone is like looking for each other. That we have a great manager, great staff, and um, GM is really good too, Alex. Uh, and it's great being here. I love being here. All right, thank you. Man. Thank you. That's all for now. We'll see you next time on your Jackals player profile.